going on guys, my name is The Outline and today I'm going to be showing you how you can mine Ethereum on your uh, Windows PC. So this tutorial I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible uh, just so then you know it's out of the way and you'll be able to get mining as soon as possible because you don't really need to know how everything works, you just need it to work uh, so then you can try and get into the uh, cryptocurrency business. So uh, this is what I use to mine, this is called dual claymore miner but uh, you don't need to know that just yet first off I'm going to show you how you can get your ethereum address uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto this website which is coinbase.com this is the website that I use and I'm most familiar with and I know how to get everything on it but um, if you want to know um, if you want to use a different website just search up how to get your ethereum address it's that simple because this is just where you're going to be storing your Ethereum after you withdraw it from your um, pool. But what you're going to want to do is make up an account, go to the accounts tab, and go to your Ethereum wallet and click get Ethereum address. Uh, this is my Ethereum address. If any of you guys do want to uh, donate, I will make sh I'll put down a link down in the description below so you can um, mine using my Ethereum address so you can help towards. Um, funding videos and stuff like that but anyway uh, that's not really important what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you've got that ethereum address so maybe save it somewhere if you m just keep it somewhere um, and you're going to want to have this piece of code so this code is the config file for what well, the startup file for um, claim or miner uh, obviously you're going to have to download Claymore Miner and when you first download it uh, these should be the files that you see and you're going to want to create a file um, new um, text document you wanna, gonna, you're going to call it start you're going to open it and edit it in notepad and all you're going to want to do is paste in that uh, code that I've shown you but the only change that you're going to want to make is either to this pool um, if you're in Asia, use um, AS. If you're in uh, US, use US. And it's basically as simple as that. They are the pools that you're going to be using. These are the ones that I use personally. So uh, I know the, what this pool is like probably best in my opinion. But all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change this address to what you had on Coinbase. Uh, like here you can see it is uh, 600 or whatever but you're going to want to just take away the um, 0x just get rid of that and just keep um, that that's all you need just keep that and then put it in that area there like I have and put dot rig1 you're going to need to give it a name so then each miner has a name and um, just keep everything else exactly as it is and you're going to want to save it and obviously you're going to have it on notepad here so you save it save as um, call it start dot bat make sure it's a dot bat file otherwise it won't actually load it up in the command prompt so it won't actually boot it up at all so if you do that it will all be good uh, so as, as you save that you should see that uh, when you actually go to attempt to mine Ethereum, it will literally start up um, and it should look like, after a while, it should look like this. So, I've currently got, um, I've been running it for the last 24 hours or so, and it just continues and continues. You don't have to worry about mate, like keeping it under maintenance every uh, few minutes or so. It's just leave it on and keep your PC on and it should all be good um, so for doing this I would recommend having a good GPU with good memory as well um, but anyway that's basically all, all you have to do I will show you the um, ether mine on how to look up your statistics so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to get your ethereum address like I said before and just type it in this address section and you'll be able to keep a um, Oh wait, I accidentally put in that code. Uh, I've got mine here. So you just type it in and it should come up. And as you can see, you can see all your information on your mega hash, your active workers, your shares of over the last hour. 
you can see all your information here and you can even see um, estimations like I'm estimated to make 123 US dollars in current pricing Ethereum um, by the end uh, by so that's pretty good and uh, yeah so it's just as easy as that to be honest I didn't want to make it like other people's tutorials where it's kind of trying to explain it too much so this is basically all you have to do so obviously I will leave the uh, links to Claymore Miner in the description below personally uh, I've used three different miners and this one was the one which worked the best it gave me an extra two mega hash over other um, forms of ethereum miners and it is literally as easy as that and when you do need to withdraw all you need to do is um, in settings you need to set your payment threshold to how many you want to withdraw into your coinbase account and uh, to actually save it you will have to put your IP address in and to do that all you have to do is type in what is my IP and I'm, not obviously, I'm obviously not going to press enter otherwise it will show mine but you just press that in, copy it in and paste it and as soon as you click save if you have the certain amount that's in your payment th threshold it will send it straight to your uh, coinbase account and um, just for some information if you are using coinbase um, I'm pretty sure in, um, in the UK what you have to do is you have to um, make sure that you uh, are, if you're under 18 you have to sign a consent form and if you're over 18 you just uh, it's fine but you will have to put on your uh, credit or debit card or just give in your bank information and it will uh, do the transactions um, but obviously if you only put in your bank details it does take a longer time to confirm the uh, transaction so I would recommend using a debit or credit card um, and it, that's basically it for today's tutorial I just thought I would make this video because um, I'm pretty crazy about Ethereum at the minute and I thought some of you guys might uh, you know enjoy trying to make some money uh, from your computer and yeah that's basically it for today's video if you did like this video or it did help you out a lot uh, make sure to leave a like um, also comment down below if you have any issues with this because I might have kind of uh, wh whizzed past something and maybe didn't fully explain how you do it so if in that scenario just uh, comment down below um, and ask me a question and I'll be able to answer you as soon as possible and um, also don't forget to subscribe and put on that notification bell uh, so then you will know when I make new videos um, I would only recommend actually subscribing if you are into gaming videos because that's what I'm going to be doing at the minute so if any of you are coming just for the tutorial uh, just leave a like and comment and that's uh, about it but anyway guys I'll see you in the next video and uh, bye